In this illustration, we intend to simulate the static behavior of bolted end plate joint in the abacus software. As you observe in this picture, the model includes beam, column, end plate, bolt, and stiffener. In this example, a vertical loading is applied to the top of the column, and this vertical loading is applied to the column statically. In the next picture, the force displacement diagram obtained from the Abacus software has been compared with the experimental results. As you observe, there is a good conformity between the Abacus results with those mentioned in the article. In these pictures, the formation of the model can also be observed. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled An Experimental Study of Static and Dynamic Behavior of Bolted End Plate Joints of Steel. In this picture, the laboratory model uh, can be observed. And in this picture, uh, the force displacement diagram of the column has been drawn. I will click on Create Cut Extrude, select this plane, then this line. Draw a circle, enter its radius equal to 9 millimeters. The distance between the center of circle and this line is equal to 30 millimeters. The distance between the center of circle and this line is equal to 60 millimeters. Uh, click on linear pattern, select the circle, done. Enter spacing equal to 100 millimeters. And OK. Again, I will click on linear pattern, select these two circles, done. Here enter spacing, uh, spacing equal to 70 millimeters. Click on flip and OK. Then I click on done and OK. In the next step, I'll enter a geometric shape of end plate into the assembly section. First, select this point and then this one and OK. I will click on linear pattern, select end plate.
After that, I'll click on Tools menu, select Reference Point, and select this point. In the next step, I'll click on Create Constraint, select Coupling, and Continue. First, I select this reference point, Done, then click on Surface, select this surface, Done, and OK. As you observe, the top section is under tension and the bottom section is under compression. This can be clearly observed in this animation. In the next step, we intend to draw the force displacement diagram. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram in the Abacus software. And after that, compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those mentioned in the article. I will click on Create XY Data, then select ODB field output and continue here i'll select unique nodal first i'll select reaction force directed at y and after that displacement directed at y here i'll select set 15 and the set 15 is related to the place of loading I will click on Create XY Data, select Operate on XY Data, and continue. Here I'll select Combine first, select U2, and then RF2, and click on Save As. Here you can observe the force displacement diagram. I will transfer that to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is newton.
Here, the diagram drawn with blue color is the one obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are very close uh, to those results mentioned in the article, indicating that this question has been properly simulated in the Abacus software.